let's start off with our first and last name on the back of your white paper, your room number, and your grade level. G4, fourth grade, G5, fifth grade. Then we are gonna be drawing vertically. So I'm gonna turn my paper to the front. So we're gonna divide our paper into three sections to start. So you can decide where those go. Um, and then I would just suggest not putting any exactly in the center. So this would be about my middle. So you can go a little bit above or below. So now I have this section, two and three sections now, and I'm ready to do the next part. So I'm gonna get my three warm colors of my watercolor pencils. Remember, those were the ones that I gave you. They do have a paintbrush on them and they say Crayola watercolor. So we're gonna work on doing a bit of a sunset on this top line. Now, you don't need to make strong lines because I would. you can work on blending these together. So I'm gonna do some yellow and then some orange and then some red. So you decide, you can change the colors if you want. Um, but you may want to still stick with the warm colors. Like you could add in pink if you want. That is still a warm color. I'm kind of putting it darker at the base. And then when I'm ready, I'm gonna lightly go ahead and overlap that yellow with the orange that's gonna kind of go around the yellow shape. So I'm going light because again, like we do with color in general, you can always add more, but it's hard to take it off depending on what material we're using. So I'm gonna again go darker at the bottom and then maybe go lighter as I go up. And I'm kind of blending that yellow edge into the orange edge. And if I wanna add a little bit more yellow, I can always go back and do that. And then I'm gonna do my red for the outside color. So I'm gonna finish that and come back so I have finished my sky with those three colors. Now I'm just gonna get my brush and water and begin to activate those watercolors. So I am gonna clean my brush and start in the middle actually. So I'm gonna get this yellow wet and let it to start to blend into the orange so that it blends as typical watercolor would. So that's a little bit of a hard line, so I'm just kind of blending that a little more. And you wanna activate all the color, so that means all the area that you put this um, watercolor pencil, you wanna get it wet with the water. I'm gonna kinda of keep painting from right to left like I colored so that it looks like that sky kind of texture. So once you have applied water, it should no longer look like colored pencil, but should look more like watercolor if we were to be painting out of those pans that we use at school. So this is just another material to use painting in, at home. So this is a good way to do that. So I'm blending this orange and yellow and into the red just so that it looks more like a sunset. Um, so. As you go along, if you don't like something or you want more color, you could always add it after it dries. So I'm gonna stop here and go to the next step.